And for more on the launch of Ariane 6, I can welcome Olivier Songhi, who is editor-in-chief of Space News at the Cité de l'Espace in Toulouse. Uh, good morning, Olivier, and thank you for joining us. Uh, this was a fairly successful launch for Ariane 6, by the looks of it. Yes, a very successful launch and uh, third launch and the second commercial launch. So Ariane 6 is ramping up. And um, in what way might Ariane be considered to be in competition with SpaceX and other commercial satellite companies? We've heard that the order log has been ramped up for uh, the European, uh, the rocket. And um, so will, will it be providing serious competition? Well, first and foremost, Ariane 6 is a launcher for European sovereignty. So <laughs> there's no match for that. I mean, uh, uh, Europe wants to launch its satellite with its own launcher. I mean, it's uh, an it's to be independent. Even though uh, we could ask friendly countries to do it for us, we prefer to do it by ourselves, especially for sensitive satellites. For example, the previous launch was a military launch. It was a remote sensing military satellite, and we don't want to give this satellite to other countries. Um, so. Perhaps Ariane 6 is part of a quest for greater security independence on Europe's part. And do you think that that's a, a response to recent geopolitical uh, movings elsewhere in the world? Well, when Ariane 6 was decided, the geopolitical world was a bit more stable. But I would say, OK, now we have Ariane 6 and it's a good thing to have it. But Ariane 6 also can have a commercial role, as you said previously. INCS will launch Cooper satellites, American satellites. So they are customers who trust Ariane Space. And Ariane 5 has shown that Europe can do very fine commercial launch services. So Ariane 6 will continue this uh, tradition, I would say. Now, there is a collaboration with the United States involved here. Um, but is there a possibility that that might be threatened by the Trump administration's aggressive stance towards science? and particularly climate science? Well, about that, it's true that Europe is uh, perhaps uh, European Space Agency and European Union, especially with the Copernicus program, which is a, a series of satellite for climate change and weather and remote sensing of Earth. Europe is one of the leading, uh, is leading the environmental satellites. So we are, I would say we are best than the uh, United States for that. And it's a good thing because we can't wait for the Trump administration to assess this. Uh, they are shutting down satellites that are observing Earth. So luckily for us, luckily for the science, the climate science, there is Europe. And uh, this is the third launch of Ariane 6, the second commercial one. The, the previous one in March this year was um, sent a military satellite into orbit. Europe is investing 20 billion euros in the program. Is this money well spent? Yes, it is money well spent because, uh, in fact, if we shut down all the satellites today, there will be no TV, no GPS, no telecommunication, and even no internet in some part of the world. So we rely on satellites, and satellites need launcher, and we need space technology. You know, you can't build a rocket without uh, engineers, without industry, et cetera. We need that money, but it is money well spent because we are in a technological world and part of this technological world needs space. Thank you very much for that, Olivier Songhi, editor-in-chief of Space News at the Cité de l'Espace in Toulouse.